Hey guys, welcome back to I Was Explained. My name is David and today we're going to go over a really easy question. I recorded it and I'm, you know, getting back in the swing of things with the channel and everything. And so this is going to be a super easy one. Uh, hopefully it's going to help me test a lot of my recording and stuff. And so here we go. This is Edipit. This is the platform that I'm going to mainly be working with from now on. Uh, of course, if you want other platforms, just email me. But at the same time, um, if you do like the Edipit platform, I encourage you to become a pro member and be sure to click on my link in the description to get to that. Uh, and as always, the question itself is in the description down below. So go ahead and click on that to solve it yourself as well. All right, this is called return the sum of two numbers. Uh, let's see, create a function that takes two numbers as arguments and return their sum. Uh, here are the examples. Addition is the function name and it looks like they're going to give you two parameters. Uh, given, you know, the question was called sum of two numbers. Three and two is five, negative three, negative six is negative nine, seven and three is 10. So from these examples, it shows that you can have positive numbers and negative numbers. You don't know if you can have numbers that are or not numbers, like someone gives you a string, like maybe a string of two, or maybe they're just giving you a bad input. Um, you don't know that. So go ahead and ask your interviewer. That or for scenarios like this, when you're just on the internet and checking it out, go to the test tab and you can see kind of what they're going to um, run your code against. If we look at our test tab, it doesn't show any weird inputs. And so we could assume the interviewer would have just said, okay, no weird inputs. Uh, let's look at the notes. Uh, looking at the notes, I guess, on uh, an online platform like this is equivalent to just listening to everything the interviewer says and take notes when the interviewer says stuff uh, it might help you later it, actually it probably will help you later for sure okay so here don't forget to return the result okay definitely if you get stuck on a challenge uh, here are just some examples because this is a very easy question uh, assuming that we are very new to the platform itself okay so let's go ahead and go to the code we can code in different languages I am going to code in JavaScript and here they have the function written out for us. Addition is the function name. And they have two parameters and it's A and B. First thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to change the parameter names. Not necessary and doesn't matter in terms of solving the question itself, but I just think that it's a good habit of using good parameter names to uh, in when uh, solving these questions. Let's see. So the two ways we can do, they just pretty much want us to do math with this, right? And so we can either return num1 plus num2, and that would be enough to just do the math as we return it. Or another way we can solve this is create a variable um, of sum num1 plus num2. And in this scenario, we would have returned the sum instead and not done just the, just the straight off return. Both of these work. Uh, if you're very new to programming, um, I do recommend, you know, make the variable. Uh, it'll help you kind of understand, okay, this is how we store information and then we can return that information as we need it, as we need to. Um, in an interview situation, if you can go ahead and skip the creation of that variable and just uh, output the num, especially in such a simple function like this, I would recommend you do so. And, you know, the, the, you might think this is a simple function that's too easy for any real life scenario where, well, one super helpful thing that I started doing in the later parts of kind of my interview processes was creating helper functions, a lot of helper functions, especially for these little tiny math equations where, yeah, I can add that I can do like a num plus one, num plus two within like the greater harder function but if i can get away with saying hey i'm going to create a helper function with this and you know even step away from actually coding the helper function itself and rather just using something like addition something right the interviewer in my opinion or in my uh, experience they just uh, said okay you know don't write out that little helper function well let's pretend you already have it written out and uh, it saves a lot of time and so let's go ahead and check this as far as going with this guy and it should it all pass and so i already uh i already submitted this question so there's no submit final but that is pretty much it i hope that you 
saw some value to this question. Super easy, you know. I don't expect most of my users to, most of my viewers to not get something like this on their own. But getting back in the swing of things, hopefully the video editing for this uh, particular video goes smoothly for me. And uh, thanks for your time, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.